say all the films have been pretty big, but I do think that this, uh, certainly it's the biggest emotional um, uh, climax you could wish for. Uh, and uh, you know, it's surrounded by this sort of big physical climax too. So, yeah, I think it is. It's the biggest film so far. Well, I think the emotional core is what the film's about. Um, you know, the, the, the battle for Hogwarts, the battle between good and evil, is really a backdrop uh, to um, that fight that takes place between Harry and, and Voldemort, both, you know, a physical and an emotional fight. Uh, um, and so I think we would have got it wrong if we'd overshadowed too much that, that central emotional core because that is really where we've been leading to for all this time uh, and it would be a shame uh, not to have the ability to, to um, witness it and understand it and, and properly uh, enjoy it uh, just because we had too many bangs and booms going on but there are plenty of bangs and booms uh, and uh, there's lots and lots of emotion too so it's brilliant. I wouldn't say he knows what to do, but I think he knows he has to do it. And so um, I, I'm sure if you were to look deep within, he is terrified. Um, but uh, being Harry, he sets you know his, his right foot forward uh, and follows uh, with his left and just keeps going because he has a job to do. He's the only person left who can successfully carry out that job. In fact, he's always been, uh, you know, even while Stumbledore was alive. Um, it, truthfully, it's always been Harry was the one that had to do what has to be done. Um, it's just now he doesn't have the support of Dumbledore but um, you know in the midst of feeling sort of um, alone and quite desperate I'm sure uh, he then finds he has the support of um, the school again uh, in a way that um, you know a short while earlier I'm sure he could never have imagined but yeah I'm sure he's terrified but he does the right thing Tom in the Half-Blood Prince becomes the kind of reluctant chosen one uh, he's the, the, the dark side of Harry's coin. Um, he's given the task by the Dark Lord. Harry's given the task by, you know, the Great White Wizard. Um, and so I think they, re they do recognise uh, in each other that, um, you know, there are similarities and that they're not just... Uh, it's not, that life is not just black and white. Uh, and um, it, it does give... It informs their scenes together, I think, and uh, they, they work really well. Because Tom's turned into a really fine actor. Uh, and uh, you can see both the certainty and un uncertainty in uh, his character and uh, through his performance, and it's really rewarding. It's actually quite exciting uh, because, you know, we live with these kind of sets. The courtyard we rebuilt uh, outside because we had to do certain things that were not practical to do on the stage. And so um, we rebuilt it. We changed its shape very slightly and made it slightly bigger to make uh, to accommodate the action that was required. Uh, but it's still the courtyard that you um, that have become to, oh, to know and love and will recognise. Um, but in a way, it was actually really exciting to, to start to blow things up and destroy things and knock them down because it just was so different to anything we'd ever seen or done at Hogwarts before um, that it's kind of exhilarating. Uh, and um, it, it, I suppose it is a shame to see these basic works of art um, that uh, Stuart's creations actually uh, you know, start to fall to pieces before our eyes. But at the same time, it's fun, it's exciting and exhilarating. I thought I'd kind of get away with it because I thought, you know, we've got a year of editing to do and so we're still living with Potter. We're not, you know, a lot of the, the crew were just, that was it, they were finished. Um, you know, they'd, um, they'd been with it for a long time and as the cameras cut, their job was over. There was nothing else to come back for. Uh, and so I thought, hmm, it's going to be really awful for them. But actually, um, I'm kind of okay because we've got the death of a thousand cuts yet, literally in the, in the editing room. Um, and so by the time we get to the end, we'll have had time to uh, assimilate the fact that it's all over and we're not coming back. But it was moving. It brought a tear to my eye. Uh, it was really moving, surprisingly moving.